We are following new developments tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Could Jeffrey Basil's murder conviction be thrown out? Because of a story you saw right here on 7 Eyewitness News, the former Molly's Pub manager's defense team now wants his conviction trashed. It's all because of an exclusive juror interview from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch, who's live downtown tonight with more. And Joanna, it was juror number 12 who told me exclusively she has military experience, but attorneys for Jeff Basil said that was never revealed during jury selection. Now they want the murder conviction overturned. That part of the element, that element of the case was so important for attorneys on both sides to know because Bill Sager, who died after he was pushed out down the stairs inside Molly's pub was in the Air National Guard. Sager was pushed by Jeff Basil, who was convicted of murder in January. Additionally, according to court documents just filed in state Supreme Court, juror number 12 never revealed she was arrested and charged with a crime. Court documents reveal she was accused of grand theft back in 1997 in Florida. But when asked if she'd ever been charged or arrested, she said no. That's according to Paul Cambria, who is now representing Jeff Jeff Basil in this motion to have the murder conviction thrown out. That juror would have been excused, wasn't, and we feel that because this information wasn't given, that uh, a fair trial wasn't had here because that would not be adjured beyond this case. Now it'll be up to Justice Penny Wolfgang to decide if the conviction will be thrown out and if Jeff Basil will get a new trial. That will likely be heard when he was scheduled to be sentenced next month. That argument will be put before the judge at that time instead. I just got off the phone with juror number 12. She said she was never asked if she was in the military and she says she was never convicted of that crime down in Florida. She says she does not remember if she was asked if she was ever accused or arrested. This is a developing story that we will continue to follow for you. I'll have another update for you tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 11. We're live downtown tonight at Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.